The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, once again in a winter wheat field just outside of Stratford, and I gotta talk about headland compaction. Look at this mess, my gosh! And it's not just this field. Last fall, the fall of 2021, incredibly wet, but the amount of compaction, we could see combine tracks in the winter. One thing about wheat, man, wheat tells all. My great friend, Russ Barker, that's his quote, wheat shows all, and it does. When you create that compaction, it shows you, it stays yellow. When you create enough compaction, and you can see from these pictures that it was unbelievably wet when we planted here last fall. We wanted to get the wheat in, we pushed it, so that's not wrong, but man, these center fill drills with all that weight on the drill, and in this picture, even though the gang wheels are creating enough compaction that you can see they're really having a negative impact on the wheat and the wheat emergence. And by the way, given the way this wheat field was planted, it looks amazing compared to how you might expect. But we simply can't live with this compaction moving forward. And I know you can see tire tracks through here. It's from the last 28 application on this particular wheat field but it's, it's repeated compaction. It's the combine, it's the grain buggy, it's the planter, it's the cultivator. It's all the things you're always turning on the headland. And in particular, the planter and the drill, when you lift on the headland, all the weight goes on the wheels. So we simply have to find ways to get better. We need more axles, we need better tires. If we're tires, we have to go to VF tires, try to get more axles so there's more tires and get the air pressure down in those tires so that we're under 15 PSI. I'd like them under 10, I'd like them under eight, but at least get under 15, which is virtually impossible with today's equipment. You can also look at tracks, that's another way, but the wheat shows you that this headland is not yielding anything. If you grew corn on this or soybeans, you would look at this and it would look like there was a crop there, but every time you look at the yield map, these headlands that are compacted and beat to daylights are always red. They are low yielding. And so somehow we have to solve that problem. If you're tile draining, make sure you put an extra run on the headland but it really comes down to the equipment. The equipment does not seem to be getting any smaller, so more axles, more tires, lower pressure. Figure it out, let's grow crop on every acre that we farm. Peter Johnson, at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, grow great crops.